America's enemies must never know our plans or believe they can wait us out. I will not say when we are going to attack, but attack we will. Now at 11, the plan for Afghanistan. President Trump outlining a shift in U.S. strategy when it comes to America's longest war. In his first primetime speech focused on just one policy issue, the president admitted he's changed his mind on Afghanistan since taking office. That's right. He's gone from believing that we should pull our troops out to now recommitting to doing whatever it takes to win. My original instinct was to pull out and historically... I like following my instincts. President but Trump acknowledging life, his change of heart. The 2013 tweet urging the U.S. to get out of Afghanistan, calling it a waste of money, to his new realization that a hasty withdrawal First, would be disastrous. Our nation must seek an honorable and enduring outcome. America's longest war is now President Trump's war. The U.S. sent troops to Afghanistan in 2001 after the 9-11 terror attacks, fighting insurgents and mentoring and supporting Afghan forces since 2002 has cost more than 2,400 American military lives and has left more than 20,000 wounded. Still, Taliban forces continue to control a large number of key territories, but the president looking to frame this in national security terms. We are not nation building again. We are killing terrorists. The president talking about a new military approach that would be based on conditions on the ground, not on timetables. He would not reveal if or how many additional troops he might send to the region. There are currently close to 10,000. America will work with the Afghan government as long as we see determination and progress. However, our commitment is not unlimited and our support is not a blank check. Florida Senator Bill Nelson, who sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee, said the Afghan people must protect their own and the U.S. troops should exit the country as soon as practical. Senator Marco Rubio tweeted his support, calling the president's Afghan strategy put together the right way. Very good. President Trump looking to rebound from a politically disastrous week post Charlottesville said his new Afghan approach is aimed at stopping mass terror attacks against Americans before they emerge.